Okay guys, here's something new. I got me a package. This one is from Sparrows, who evidently have a new uh, California warehouse. Nope, it's upside down. Um, I have opened this already and taken it out and played with it. But I just wanted to show you the way it comes packaged. So this is the Sparrows Vault. Uh, Challenge Vault. And this is the way it came originally. Just I repackaged it exactly like it came. The combo is still sealed. Um, you have to print the instructions off from the website. They don't come with it. So you get this uh, basic guide to opening combination safes and um, charting instructions and the first part is specific to the way it comes which is only with a two number combination active and then it goes on to teach you how to swap out the lever with the other ones that come in it what all the different ones are, what the stages are, and then how to find the third number once you've swapped out the... And then after you've swapped out for the three digit combination lever, and then when you go to the non-stepped levers, which I'll get to here in a little bit, you have some advanced steps to help you determine what the correct numbers are on those because those are much more difficult. Um, all in all, I didn't find it too challenging directly out of the box. We've got, I have managed to find the combination to the two digit. Oh, this thing is hard to get out of here. They really pack it in there pretty well. Good quality packing. dog's barking because I think my wife's home. Anyway, so this is the vault. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you the the, uh, the lever arm that comes with it has a stepped fence, whether it's the two or the three digit version. It, it really, really talks to you. So just show you the uh, hopefully you can hear it when it hits there but the can you hear that those are the edges so it's really easy to find and the uh, when you actually find the the gates the narrowing is really, really obvious. The uh, contact points are obvious. The, uh, the narrowing of the contact points is very obvious. I actually was able to do, um, to find the a working combination without graphing on this on the stepped arms so I'm gonna open it show you the combination that I found that works and then I'm gonna open the uh, combination see how close we are and then we'll go through what's inside how about that so the combination I found that works is 25, pass 70 once, pass 70 twice, to 70, pass it once, 43, and there it is. 
it is. Fully opened. So let's see, 25, 70, 43 being the full combination. sharp enough. Nope, it's not. <laughs> they really make that seal quite obvious. Alright. See how close I got to the intended 25 70, 43 on the dot. Like I said, those stepped levers really make it obvious. So, what does it come with? It comes with change key. Let me pull that out of there. It's really nice foam packaging in here too to hold everything. There's the change key for changing the combination. I have, an attempt, I have not attempted to do that yet. Comes with uh, extra springs, one for each lever that's included. Comes with a screwdriver for taking it apart, taking the back off, changing the lever. The little included screwdriver will do that just fine. That's all I've used so far. And it comes with three levers besides the one that was in it when you got when I got it which I changed out for the three combination one so I'll just take that out and show you the, all the different levers here probably fast forward through this part Okay, so it comes in the box with this lever installed, and if you notice, it's stepped, which allows you to find the first number very clearly first, and then the second number. Um, there's no possibility that a larger wheel in the front will mask your feeling. Um, then it comes with a three digit version that's the same stepped and it's, it's just as easy just one more step to follow to, to find the third digit and I've completed both of those I have not yet attempted to do it with the standard we've got a two digit which is the next step in the progression two digit fully flat fence in a three digit fully flat fence. Um, those would be the next things I do, but those are going to take a little while because I'm going to have to do some graphing. I did put the two digit one in and just played with how it feels and it's a whole different world. Anyway, so I am going to do that here shortly, but I just wanted to share this with you. This is kind of my initial impression. It's really easy out of the box. Trust me. Um, nothing to be afraid of and uh, it teaches you it's easy but it's important because it teaches you the basics of what you're doing what you're feeling for before you go on to the super complex um, where different size wheels can mask the feeling from uh, other wheels so yeah actually I'm quite impressed I think this is going to be a great learning tool and I'm not sure exactly how quality this is. I'm not a safe expert, but with the flat ones in there, I can tell you it feels completely different. It is very difficult to feel your contact points, to hear your contact points, anything. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a very different feeling in there. So it's definitely gonna take me some graphing. And uh, anyway, if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. 
Um, I got this one on the Black Friday sale, so I did not pay full retail. Do I think it's worth it? If you really want to learn um, safe manipulation, I think it probably is. I think the progressive uh, levers are the key. I think um, once you work your way through this, I, th I think it'd be a good idea to get yourself a good Sergeant Greenleaf um, and test yourself on that. But I think this is a good way to learn uh, safe manipulation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep it legal.